Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here on behalf of my creative year for the month of May for the May challenge. I mean the May prompt, sorry. And the prompt this month is the word animals. And as you can see, my table is full of all kinds of cut up images. I've been fooling around with this for quite a few hours this morning and I have not come to any good decision yet. So I'm going to do my best to push forward. All right, so let me let me show you. I have a duplicate of this, I think, somewhere in here. I was gifted this lovely paper mache book by uh, Jennifer Travis, and her and I did a swap, and this was in my box for the swap, which I thought was fabulous. I really like stuff like this. This is very cool. I had two, so here's the before. And now this is the after, which I cannot close because there's <laughs> images shoved in there. So my friend Carla at Cage Fish gave me a bunch of dog images because I told her I, I was doing a dog book and a cat book. But I intended for those to be very small. And as this turned out, you know, like so many other things I planned, not quite what I thought it was going to be. It's larger, like one and a half times larger. <laughs> So, uh, you guys want the measurements, right? Let me get a roller here. Um, the front cover is five and a quarter by almost three and three quarters. And no, I don't know where she got them from. <laughs> I know that's the question that's going to get asked. I have no idea where she got these or how long she's had them or anything about them, but I just know that they were very cool. All right, so I started out, let me pull these out so you can see what I'm talking about here. I started out this morning by thinking, well, you know, I'll do each page a different breed of dog. I divvied up all my different kinds of dogs on the table here and was looking to see which ones had the most amount of pictures. Of course, those will be the ones I do the pages with because, like, if I have two pictures of Dobermans, how am I going to fill it up with just two pictures of Dobermans? That's not enough. So um, I went through and, and whittled it down to, like, ten <laughs> that seemed to have more than one or two. All right, so the first one, I took an uh, envelope envelopes and put it as the background and I had some painty paper and kind of tore around the circles. This is a handmade stamp. This is no one else's stamp but mine. This is a handmade stamp and then I stamped it on deli paper and I ended up tearing out the little circles and putting those down on top of the envelopes. And in the packet of dog pictures that Carla sent me, there was this kind of runny looking um, Jack Russell Terrier, which is the same dog that's on the front. I didn't plan it that way, um, but it's a runny painting of him, and I just love the way it looked, and it was long and very cool. And then when I was digging through stuff, I didn't have enough to do, like, lots of little images, but this big one came along. I was like, okay, so if I could just get one more small one to kind of, and sure enough, there's another one. This, let me put you in closer. Here we go. You see that better? This one is of, uh, I, I think this one is the rough coat Jack Russell, and this one is the smooth coat Jack Russell. Um, so those fill up the whole page right there, and I was very happy with the way it looks. I really love the, this painting of the dog. All right, so then I had some vintage music sheets, and I can't remember who sent them to me. I... It was like two or three people, possibilities. So I ripped up the music sheets because I had intended to put bulldogs on here. And the background was too brown. But then I thought, well, I'll put white. And then I thought, well, no, I got white bulldogs. And so I need something to go halfway between. So sepia or brown seemed to be the best choice. So there's ripped up music sheets here. Then I took brown watercolor and wiped it on there with my hand because I didn't have a baby wipe handy, so, you know, make do. Then I went through and I looked, and I have tons of bulldog and French bulldog pictures that I can put in here. So that's the next breed of dog that's going in is the French bulldogs and bulldogs. There'll be a combo page, I think. Then this one, 
will be dachshunds. I have, they were a breed of dog that my husband and my, my family and I, my kids, all loved very much, and we had four of them, and they've all since passed away. The last one passed away since we moved to Texas. Um, and I found lots of dachshund pictures between my stash and what Carla sent to me. I have plenty to do that one. Then I found, like, okay, here's a wiener dog that goes on this page. Then I found some Yorkshire Terriers, which I think are terribly cute little dogs. And I found a really large picture that I still need to do a background for. And then other little, well, there's a dachshund. Then other little pictures of um, Yorkshire Terriers. And I will whip together a page with that. I only have like four or five pictures, so I'm going to have, whoa, well, we're whaling it down. <laughs> I have three, I have three pictures <laughs> of Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, wait. That's three. That's not true. Four. Uh, I don't think that's a Yorkshire Terrier. Four, five, six, seven. I have seven that I can work with for this page. So this is Dachshunds. This is Yorkshire's. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left to do. And then maybe I'll be able to close this book. Pro I'll be able to do this, close this book properly. Did I go off camera the whole time I've been talking? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I have a whole bunch of images tucked inside here that I cut, I fussy cut, or that I'm considering using in the page, and just tuck them inside some of these pages. So, I'll be back whenever I finish to do the flip through. See you guys in a little while.
Okay, so this is the book completed. Right before I turned this on, I uh, broke the spine. So I'm going to have to make some kind of repair on the spine. My, maybe duct tape or some kind of tape to hold it together. It didn't come apart, but I can see that they tried to glue two zines together to make this many pages in it. And I think I split it where the two were glued together. All right, so here's the front. Here is the Jack Russell Terrier on the front door mat that says welcome. Let me put you in a little further. As I explained before, here's a Jack Russell painting that I really liked. And here is the rough coat Jack Russell as opposed to the smooth coat on the front. These are bulldogs and French bulldogs in this picture um, on this page. And there's the music behind it like I showed before. You saw me working on the dachshunds. I had a lot of dachshund pictures. It was hard. I didn't have that many of the Yorkies, but I found this one hard to put together. Anyway, I only ended up, ended up with three pictures. One, two, three. Yeah, three. Then there are the boxers, which we currently own two of. Uh, the majority of the pictures of this are from me because these little squares like this, these little things, are pictures that are off the back of a boxer puppy calendar that we had for one year when, I think when we got either Lucy or Penny, I can't remember which one, but I've had them a long time and I've held on to them forever. This did not come from me. I think that came from Carla. And this may have come from Carla, too. I'm not really sure. But I know the ones that were, have all the puppies in them are mine. All right, so this was really hard. There were a million different kinds of dogs. And I watched the um, Westminster Kennel Club show every year and have been doing so for 20, 25 years. I'm very familiar with lots of breeds of dogs. Been to lots of dog shows. Um... And the only two breeds that we've ever had that were AKC registered were uh, two Dachshunds, two of the four Dachshunds that we had, and both of the dox, uh, Boxers had papers, but we never did get them because we didn't care. The rest of our dogs were dogs that were from rescues. All of our cats have been rescues or giveaways, that kind of thing. When I was a kid, we had mutts, and they were the best dogs in the whole wide world. All right, so these were different kinds of dogs. There's a Papillon. There's a Dog de Bordeaux, which is the French Mastiff. These are all, let's see, this is a Belgian Malinois. This is the Bernese Mountain Dog. I think this is a, a Yorkie in here, and there's a Golden Retriever. Oh, I can't remember the name of this little guy. He has a really long French name. And then somebody had all their, um, what do you call them, the dogs that pulled, the, the sled dogs. They put pictures in a magazine of all their sled dogs and the sled dogs' names. But in order to get the dogs in here, I had to cut the names off the bottom of the pictures. But this is one of the sled dogs. This is one of them. This is also one of the sled dogs. Basset Hound, Bulldog. Uh, I'm not shy. That's not a pug. Collie, Chihuahua. Anyway, so there's lots of different kinds of dogs in here. And then there was this one big picture of this dog wearing this really cool leopard hat. I could not resist putting that in here. It was just too cute with the glasses and the hat. Then at the very end is the dog that's running. And he has uh, envelope paper as the background. So this is my Ode to Animals. One of my favorite animals in the whole wide world are dogs. Um, I like cats, too. We have a cat. He's part Maine Coon, and he was a giveaway, so we took him in. He needed a home. Um, so there you go. An unfinished project that is now finished. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you here shortly. I think my uh, muse comes out. It'll technically be the second week in June because June the 1st falls on a Saturday and mine's not due till the next week on Friday. So it'll be a little while. <gasps> and it'll give me time to work on it. 
Alrighty, so this is it for me. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.